We should never allow the government to decide what is acceptable speech and what is unacceptable speech. Um, we, should, we should penalize behaviors, not opinions, and not speech. Uh, if you start trying to regulate speech, you start trying to regulate um, thoughts, you start trying to regulate beliefs rather than behaviors, uh, there's no way that you're not going to abridge the constitutional rights of millions of Americans. He simply said, how do you read YouTube? And he gets a looking good back from, uh, a looking good comment from Mike Collins. The coronation depicts was obviously a big fan. The reports that we got on what it really looked like up there, you'll notice that the uh, plane trailing away from the third stage doesn't appear to be too large. They tell us that the stage doesn't. That doesn't appear to be too large. A minute, 20 seconds. It is furious. We did by now have a cutoff for the third floor. We're reporting a, a reading of one of his many gauges. We have Seco, says Frank Wellman. Seco and I would call it 11 minutes, 30 seconds. That means uh, that would be an estimate. 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Our launch digital data shows now 25,577 feet per second. The uh, data now has been re reduced and we show an altitude of 102.5. Uh, they are indeed in orbit now. One half one mile below the point they had in mind. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Uh, the first portion of the flight has uh, gone uh, beautifully. They are in orbit, a half a mile below the uh, point that they had planned for themselves, which is uh, certainly tolerable. Their speed is exactly what they want it to be, 25,560 feet per second. We say 17,500 miles an hour. The next big decision will be...
I don't have any information on a, on an actual world meeting. In fact, I'm sorry, I'm on a kind of tight uh, schedule tonight, so thank you very much. Just a moment, Senator, how, how do you explain uh, the similar reports of chaos being received from Russia and China well, thank, thank and many you. other communist countries? Thank you, sir. Some, some other time. Uh, Senator, could the... Uh, Answer this, then, before you leave me. Could the Russians have some scientific methods for making people... Donald Trump couldn't find Ukraine on a map if you had the letter U and a picture of an actual physical crane next to it. He knows that this is, you know, an, an administration defined by ignorance of the world. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of the horrors. <laughs> and so that's partly him playing to their base. Anyone who supported this president is yes, that's You know, the, the, the credulous boomer rube demo that backs Donald Trump um, that, that wants to think that, that, that Donald Trump's a smart one and they're all y'all, y'all, y'all elitists are them. Trump always loves the, the low information guy. You elitists with your geography and your maps? Shoot on racism across the country because that, that's his base. I you're laughing, you're, you're reading. <laughs> yeah, you're reading, you know. If you like your doctor, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Save a typical family an average of $2,500. That, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. He was seen by over 1 million people on the internet four years ago. See how he has recovered in Aleppo and his people. This week in Newsweek's special edition release on National Geographic's autobiography of three-year-old Syrian child Omran Dokneesh. On sale now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your global world leader and the hope you have for the future of this world, Barack Hussein Obama. Right now I am speaking to you from the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem, 
because shortly I will begin the rebuilding of the Jewish temple on this, their temple mount. But there is something even more important to discuss with all of you tonight. Within the past 24 hours, our scientific community have made the announcement that we are being invaded by a life form that can take on human form. They make contact with our bodies, supposedly while we sleep, and take over entire body. Our brain, our physicality are all absorbed by these life forms. I find this to be a frightening possibility, even more scarier than the coronavirus we recently experienced the world over. If you see a pot of any kind near someone, crush this object immediately and contact your local authorities immediately. They are potentially dangerous to human life. Astronauts who are presently on the moon again after 48 years have told NASA that they have detected blob-like objects that are falling on the lunar surface. They say these objects have also been seen approaching Earth, but we have no real defense to stop them. I can remember hearing about an incident where people saw a blob-like substance that fell in their front yards. After analyzing these substances, they determined they were the result of military exercises taking place off the coast of Florida that were blowing up areas over the ocean, throwing huge amounts of jellyfish into the atmosphere where they were mingled with aircraft waste. Together they fell to the ground with a bluish color to them. The scientific community said these were the results of how human waste is flushed out after someone uses the lavatory on board the aircraft. But I can assure all of you, this event is not jellyfish. This something beyond our understanding, no one has been able to identify where they came from or what their intuitions are. I believe the FBI and the CIA have determined these are not Russian or North Korean biological weapons of any kind. They defy our scientists from determining what they are or where they came from in outer space. The more these pods appear, the faster they will be able to take over this planet. This isn't science fiction, this is science fact. The United States is not the first nation to have reported these encounters, in Europe they have said many high-ranking polit icons have been replaced with these pod-like creatures. They even can duplicate children and animals. No life form on this planet is immune to their manipulation. This is an epidemic unlike anything in world history, this makes the black plaque irrelevant. A distinct characteristic of a duplicate human is their inability to show human emotion. They appear blank-eyed, like these horror films that show zombies walking about with no ability to communicate. These pictures show children who were found to be duplicates in Italy. They were isolated from the general public and tested for possible drug usage as our children are today taking marijuana and other narcotics on a daily basis. This was found not to be the case, their physiology doesn't match any known humanoid life form. They can be chopped up and used in vegetable salads but they aren't of much more use than that. But since human life means nothing to women or the world at large, we feel there is nothing lost by these mutilations of vegetable matter. Many animal lovers in the European Union have shown outrage at the senseless destruction of these duplicates, believing they are worthy of saving. Animal preservation has already reached a staggering 83% acceptance in most areas of the world, making their existence in the life chain even higher than a human being. Again, I must emphasize that all evidence to this time shows these are not human life forms. They cannot replicate human speech, human thought, or anything else. Life, according to the female community, is what they believe what these should be. Not what we see or believe in, but what they believe. I believe the state police in Utah, MIT Romney's home state, photographed one of these pods recently in his backyard. No one knows if he was affected by these creatures, but he threw the pod away in his trash can after finding it. I would assume this means the creature was already formed, meaning Romney himself is now a pod. He refuses to be tested for human identity, 
but we saw he helped in the impeachment of Trump so we aren't taking any action against him. Observatories around the world are keeping a constant vigil to look for any atmospheric re-entries of these creatures, but so far no one has said anything else about these events. As you recall, the coronavirus killed almost one-third of humanity just a few years ago. The Illuminati helped me to reacquire the White House and shortly thereafter, the United Nations elected me the Global Chancellor. My legions of armies around the world very quickly took control of the ever-expanding epidemic and now we are all much safer today. My army is of course the Islamic Brotherhood, the Muslim population of the world. We number in the millions, this has made the whole process so fast that no one ever saw the events that followed. Today I am hunting down every Christian in the world and should they choose not to take my mark on their foreheads or hands, they are processed immediately into our FEMA camps. Look today at the Mexican border, they can come across at will. They can shoot anyone they want, we don't care. Sanctuary cities are now commonplace throughout the United Socialist States of what was America, the Northern Continent. Today, we have renamed it the North American Union. The only threats that now affect this country is this contagion of alien life forms. We will get control of this invader too, very soon. This completes our global world leader's statement to the world system at large. Please monitor for any future announcements that will be made by our leader in the next hour. Until then, be watchful in your yard, your home, for any pods that might be growing. Don't hesitate to crush them as soon as you can. Burning them is also advisable, they are highly flammable. Keep gasoline and a torch nearby at all times, should the need arise to use these emergency supplies.